Hello and welcome back to another episode of blatantly ripping off Vsauce. It's the internet's favorite pastime. You see, my brain is flawed because I can't think of original ideas for videos. So what if instead I make a flawless brain to help me? In Minecraft, the human brain, while being one of the most complicated objects in the universe, has to work somehow. Think about it. Or don't, because today I intend to make a machine that will think about it for me. It's the holiday season, so why not start off this Christmas break with the greatest gift of all, the gift of life. Let's build a working brain in Minecraft. Children make nutritious snacks. Think about it. But what does it mean to think? That isn't a question I am very qualified to answer, but it does get you, well, thinking. Thinking about thinking or metacognition is a word I learned in third grade for a vocab quiz and haven't used in my life since. To think, your brain has to do something, right? Well, duh. So what if we made something in Minecraft that can do that something? Obviously, we can't program the entire complexity of the brain into a block game. Yet, I'm working on it. But we can start somewhere. One of my favorite senses, in fact, if I had to keep any of the six, it'd be this one, is sight. So let's build vision in Minecraft. To accurately construct a system that replicates what your brain does when it looks at stuff, we have to understand what your brain does when it looks at stuff. How do we recognize an image? Let's model this with a basic example. Our goal is for our brain to see a numeral as 0 through 9 and correctly identify it. While this is possible and very simple through basic redstone, we want to focus on replicating what our brain actually does, to build our ideal model brain. So how does our brain see numbers? Well, the visual area of our brain is split into a few sections, appropriately named visual cortexes, or Vs. There are six Vs, but for our purposes we only need four. Before we can process an image though, we have to actually see the image. Well, what does it mean to see? When your retinas capture something, they convert the image to a saliency map. A saliency map turns our normal image into a map of black and white, highlighting what is important for the brain and what isn't. If the brain sees something important, relevant neurons in the retina will fire, sending signals. To replicate this in Minecraft, we can split our number into 25 pixels, making a 5x5 grid, with an 8 for example on screen. Each grid box will be labeled 1 through 25, and then assigned to a specific retina. There'll be 25 retina, each for a different pixel, and we can divide each part of the number among the retina. Next up in our visual processing unit is V1. V1 is the visual association area. It takes information transmitted by neurons in the retina and focuses on spatial frequency and orientation. That's complicated, so in our case it just means identifying lines and columns. Certain dedicated neurons in V1 will fire if their respective retina neurons do, indicating a line or column. In Minecraft, we can also build this and show it quite simply. For horizontal lines, a basic redstone connection could look something like this, where only if all three of the retina neurons fire or are on, will our corresponding V1 neuron fire, showing that there is a line here. Certain V1 line neurons will correspond with different possible lines on our number grid. We can do the same thing for columns, and link up each column neuron in V1 with its corresponding retina ones, as such, where certain V1 neurons correlate with different columns in our original number. Still with me? Perfect. And if you don't understand, that's my bad, I'm sorry, feel free to replay the video. V2 is just a more advanced version of V1, and uses our lines as building blocks to piece together angles. There are four types of angles in numbers, and we have to account for all of them. Certain V2 neurons will only fire if their corresponding V1 neurons detect lines or columns that connect. For example, if a V1 neuron fires indicating a line beginning at square 2, and the V1 neuron for a column at square 2 also fires, our corresponding V2 neuron signifying an angle will fire, indicating yes, there is an angle at square 2. V3 is generally dedicated to color, so we can ignore it and move on to V4. V4 is for even more complex visual processing, and in our case, that means identifying the basic shapes that make up a number. This requires a little bit of creativity on my end, but I narrowed it down to 8 essential shapes for our numbers. 
Seven of them look like C's, either in the top or bottom half, and rotated to some degree, with the final one being a column, which is just two columns stacked on top of each other, or a long column. These will serve as our basic building blocks for our number. Finally, V5 and V6 deal with things more complex than we actually need, and we can move on to our final section of the brain visual processing unit. That's a mouthful. The IT, or inferior temporal cortex. The IT is like the brain of the brain, and it pretty much looks at the shapes we found in V4 and decides, hey, that makes up an 8, or hey, that's a 5, or that's a 4. The way it knows this is actually pretty cool, and it relates to how you were taught about numbers as a child. If you were taught that an 8 looks like this, the next time your V4 neurons fire indicating the correct shapes for that pattern, IT will identify that's indeed an 8. Same thing for a 5. Implementing this in Minecraft was the most complex area to plan out, and while the end result could be much nicer, it does work and is somewhat intuitive, but I won't go into the logistics. If we make a 2D model of our brain, it looks something like this. The top blocks represent the Vs, while the strips on the ground represent the connections and the neurons. This basic model doesn't really do anything, so let's actually build it. And voila, here is our brain in 3D. You may notice that it's much more cubic and not stretched out, and that's simply a stylistic choice. Instead of laying out all the retina like I did in the diagram, I stacked each group of 5 retina on top of each other to make the grid and make it more obvious which pixel of the image should go where. If you want to check this out for yourself, I've included a world down in the description, so you can play around with it and then spam me in the comments with all the bugs you found. So before you use it, let me tell you, yes, it is flawed. But before I talk about those flaws, let's actually see it in action. Here we have our basic 5x5 five five grid, and let's make the number 8. We can put each redstone block and wool block in front of the correct retina, and the brain does the rest. In the back, our IT lights up which number was chosen, and lo and behold, it's an 8. Replacing this block with wool gives us a 5, and our brain quickly realizes this and swaps over. How about now we build a 3 all the way to the right? Well, let's try it. And here's our 3 and our brain recognizes it, and yes, it has identified a 3. If we look back at the workings of the brain, I color-coded it to match my 2D design from before, but you can't really see everything in the video. The red blocks are the retina, while the orange and yellow represent V1, the blue and green are V2, and the rainbow-colored ones in the back are V4, and the whole jumble of repeaters is IT. They all work together to piece together a number from scratch. Awesome. We have just semi-accurately rebuilt the visual processing of the brain in Minecraft, and hopefully you also learn some neuroscience along the way. Now, I say semi-accurately because as the creator, I know there are a ton of flaws, so let's talk about them. Firstly, the way you have to write your numbers is a bit strict. Not only is it cubic, but if you write your fours diagonally or your nines without a tail, my brain can't detect that. It's wired to identify only specific shapes for numbers, and can't really guess. Secondly, while it doesn't guess, this brain makes assumptions. What do I mean by that? Well, for example, when detecting lines, you may notice that certain angles, like this in the center of the grid, are not detected. The reason for this is that no number has this shape in it, so we don't have to detect it. This isn't a flaw and more like an oversimplification, but it is something to note. Thirdly, and obviously, this brain can only recognize numbers, it can't really do much else. If we fill the brain with noise, it chooses an 8, and if we splotch it around, it chooses nothing. However, the numeric limitation still exists and can't be bypassed in my simple system. But all that's not to say that this isn't awesome. Even though it has a lot of flaws, yes, this is still a model brain. We have taken the brain that nature created, we've looked at one of its functions, vision, and semi-accurately recreated the vision of numbers in Minecraft. Sure, it's oversimplified and not perfect, but it's still really cool and a pretty good way to understand how your brain actually sees and identifies numbers. So I still think it's really cool regardless of whatever flaws it may have. 
But that said, that's all I have for today. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you want to help support the hours of work, editing, and research that went into this, please do consider subscribing. It means the world to me. But thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. And as always, peace out. Have a good one. Thank you so much.